Hello, church. Hello, Father. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. This weekend is our fifth annual vision casting weekend here at St. Walter. Our fifth. I'm speaking to cast again the great vision of our parish. Vision is a picture of the future that brings passion in our souls. A picture of the future that brings passion in our souls. A joyful community of disciples making joyful disciples is our vision here at St. Walter's for five years now. Our local church of St. Walter exists to make joyful disciples of Jesus. And we want to have, indeed, joyful disciples. Mission is how we get to our vision, to our future, to our dream. Mission is our GPS, our map to make this vision a reality. Four years ago, our leadership team, together with the leaders of our 52 parish organizations, have chosen three words. Change, grow, serve. Change, grow, serve. Change by grace and growing in Christ, we choose to serve. Can we say those words together? Change by grace, growing in Christ, we choose to serve. In discerning this, again, this vision this year, I ask our staff if this is still the vision and the mission of our parish. Evelyn Garfias, one of our outstanding personnel, staff, our youth and young adult minister, shared how there is such a need for joy right now, not only within Jesus' followers, but also our society. Father, we need joyful disciples more than ever. We need joyful disciples more than ever. The Lord Jesus in Matthew 28, 18 has given us the great commission. See church, we have a great commandment. What is the great commandment? Love one another as I have loved you. But Jesus at the end of his life also has given us the great commission. Huh? And the great commission goes like this. Go therefore and make disciples of every nation. Go therefore, can we say those words together? Go therefore and make disciples of every nation. In obeying this command in the last five years, we have built buildings, started new organizations and ministry, tripled our ministry towards the poor, and also consolidated so much of our resources. During the pandemic, we have gone where no parish in the diocese have gone before digital discipleship digital discipleship we have reached on our parish facebook page alone in the last four weeks 43,760 people of whom 39,082 engaged with us and this does not include our youtube channel and our website views and engagements wow <laughs> wow <laughs> i know praise the lord isn't it praise the lord this is the work of jesus and now with podcasting that we are starting in october we are going to itunes and spotify spotify for the first time by the way, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> but we have Julie Majowski and a great cadre of volunteers that will help us. You know, uh, we are so, so 
blessed. Somebody said that the two greatest moments of our lives was the day when we were born and the day we got to know why we were born. Joshua Solars is a recent graduate of the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame in English. Shortly after eighth grade, he fell away from the Catholic faith and he spent about six years searching for joy and happiness. Since Josh's college graduation, he has been a regular volunteer for the St. Walter Youth Ministry and since we began the reopening of church process, he has been a valued usher, cross bearer, and an all-around assistant at our weekend masses. He says, Thanks be to God, I truly believe that Our Lady, Notre Dame in French, called me to her university to come home to the Catholic Church. I ended up going to confession for the first time in 10 years and have never looked back. To me, he said, being a joyful disciple simply means to say yes to God's will for us. I believe that each of our yeses, yes, each of your yeses can change the world as Mary's yes did. Lisa Ma Mann is rapidly growing as a joyful disciple of our Lord because she has felt little verbal nudges over the past few years and responded yes to them. The first was when she heard an announcement from the pulpit that we should give back to our parish with our time and talent. Time and talent. As she left Mass that day, she decided to become a lector, that is, a proclaimer of the word. Her daughter, Barbara, was so proud of her mom. The next nudge was when I invited her to join the feast team on Sunday nights. She did, and she found this experience to be the most rewarding. She felt that everyone was so faith-filled and so welcoming. Sunday evening became the highlight of her week. The most recent nudge happened shortly after our shelter in place began. I mentioned at the live stream mass that Alpha would be starting up again via Zoom. She thought, why not? She joined and became a team member within three months. She also joined our Lexio Divina group on Wednesday evenings. Lisa says, I am not sure what else may be on the horizon for me. But with prayer and reflection, I am sure another nudge from the Lord will let me know. Tony Nutek was raised in a practicing Catholic family. He has been married to Linda for 50 years. They have three married sons. For many years, Tony went to Mass every Sunday and confession every once in a while. But as Tony got older, he began to realize how much he needed Jesus in his life on a daily basis. This eventually led him to take part of the New Wine program. After three years of study, he joined the Legion of Mary and other various ministries of St. Walter Church. He is presently a very active member of our Alpha program. Tony says, Alpha is where I was really introduced to the Holy Spirit. I believe that in order to know Jesus, you need to work for and with Him. The Holy Spirit guides me as I attempt to carry out God's will for my life. My spiritual life is a continual work in progress. Somebody said that the two greatest moments in our lives was the day when we were born and the day we got to know why. Church, the why 
of St. Walter Parish in Roussel, Illinois, is to be a joyful community of disciples making joyful disciples. A joyful community of disciples making joyful disciples. Can we say that together? A joyful community of disciples making joyful disciples. If somebody asks you, what's the why of St. Walter? Why do we exist here in Roselle? Are we just taking space? No. We make disciples. And we make joyful disciples. In Jesus Christ, our Savior, our friend, our brother, St. Walter, I invite you all again to this great dream of making joyful disciples. Can we bow our heads in prayer? And as a sign of our commitment to our Lord Jesus, can we put both of our hands by our heart? I hope that in every beat of that heart, we tell Jesus, I love you. Because every beat of that heart, Jesus tells us He loves us. He loves you. Every beat. Can we say these words together? Loving Father. Loving Father. Loving Father. Thank you for calling me. Thank, Thank you for you calling, calling me to follow the Lord Jesus. To follow the Lord Jesus joyfully here at St. Walter Church. Joyfully here at St. Walter Church. Give me the grace. Give me the grace to be always open. To be always open. To be changed by His grace. To be changed by His grace. To grow in love with Him. To grow in love with Him. And to serve generously with my everything. And to serve generously with my everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. St. Walter, I love you all. May all our dreams come true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And please know, I am so, so proud of you.